Situated on the main thoroughfare, this unassuming little fish and chip shop has had a special place in the hearts of the local community since opening its doors for the first time on the 7th of January 1981. That's a long time ago, isn't it? Consistently receiving the most splendid of reviews, it has been a decades-long ambition of mine to eat at this amazing establishment. And today, that dream is finally coming true, as I will be reviewing David's Chippy. Yes. Well, one of them's got chips, he might be mining. Yes. Well, you've got salt and vinegar, haven't you? Yes. Four. Thank you. Oh. And you're actually recording, isn't it? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Oh, that's a bit <coughs> of sausage. Now, as you can see, I've opted for the sausage and chips and curry sauce. Now there were three types of curry sauce on offer, English, Irish and Chinese. I opted for the English. My colleague and dining companion has opted for a portion of chips with a plastic fork. Yeah. I asked specifically for a plastic fork. The dangers of a metal fork when eating a chip dinner. What are the dangers of a metal fork? Stabbing your eating companion in the eye by accident. I've got fucking bad news for you then, Sunshine. <laughs> you brought your own cutlery. Ah, very nice. Now this is looking much more amusing from my angle to what it is from yours. There we go. Boat in. Cheers. Chip it in it. Big sausage on the go. And uh, his proper knife and fork. A true English gentleman eating his food. And in typical Anglo style, he's having English curry sauce, which of course is not curry sauce at all. Curry doesn't come from England, does it? Hmm. I'm finding the chips quite pleasant, soft and yielding. Like a lady from Bromsgrove on a Sunday evening, just before Bullseye and after her <laughs> bath. <laughs> now, I must confess that I have eaten at this establishment previously, a week ago today in fact, and I went for a different curry sauce. Um, I'm not sure whether I had the English, Indian or Chinese, but I had the one that was described as medium in terms of spice heat. And I think the medium one was probably preferable. These chips really are very nice indeed. There you go. Ah, hello. Now the sausage appears to be a splendid example of the breeze. 
breathe. Why the fuck can't I speak whenever I turn the camera on? Annoying. No, it's not because of the camera, it's because you're eating. What's got eat more? And you should never eat with your mouth full. That's what Nanny says. No. Never eat with your mouth full. And never talk. <laughs> Children should be seen and not heard. It's an absolute pleasure on a British summer day to be dining al dente. Al dente PNH cube. Hmm. I think we're going to have another time lapse of those clouds that look very nice up there. Are you going to edit this video? Hmm. After lunch, baby. <coughs> now, it was that bit of cloud there that I wanted to time lapse. But that van's in the way. So I put it over there. And now that's it. And unfortunately it's going that way, so I've missed it. That's annoying. Okay. Do you like clouds as well? Hmm. I like their names. Cirrocumulus. Yeah. Terry. Ian. <coughs> You know when you said you had spent ages editing? Yeah. This is why. <clears throat> because you just leave it running. Rather than switching it off when nothing's happening. It's because I've never got... I do turn it on and off when I actually know what I'm doing. When I've got a plan. When's that then? Not often. You were genuinely upset that you couldn't go to Festival of the Unexceptional, weren't you? Yeah. And even more annoyed when I found out I could have done. Because nobody else seemed to take any notice of the rules. Well, I think um, I think it had gone down a storm. <laughs> 